So my lowdown of the, the weekend, um, yeah, it's, uh, it was another retirement, which is of course not positive, but in general, I think the whole weekend we were quite competitive, so that's always very positive. I think in all practice sessions we were qualifying. Um, yeah, a bit of a shame of the yellow flag, otherwise I think we could have qualified a bit higher up, but in general, yeah, it was all looking quite, quite positive, so um, happy about that. Of course, really, really happy to see so many uh, Dutch fans as well on the stands. Uh, incredible support. Unfortunately, we couldn't give them the race, but I'm pretty sure uh, very soon, you know, things will turn, so we can have we can have a good result. Uh, today, I'm back at the factory. Just finished my simulator session, and actually continuing because, as you can see, my engineer is still pushing hard. Aren't you? I think you are, right? It's flat out. Look, it's flat out. We're challenging. Place him putatively. Who would do a better job? Um, well, there's I a few different questions. There's a few drivers fair. on the market, aren't there? Maybe I should do a Christian Horner and ask my own question and answer it in my sentence. Well, so let, that you let's, don't get let's to, uh, ease back a little bit from the question and say what we know Mercedes want from a driver. They want a driver who fits in well. Bottas seems to. A driver who can win on the days when Hamilton doesn't. Check. He's taking points off Vettel in that race by beating him and a driver who can score big points for the Constructors' Championship and also be close enough to be in contention for the Championship in his own right. And apolitical as well, not a destabilising factor within, not not so much the team, but with the dynamic with, with Lewis, who is that kind of person that has to be managed and preserved and kept pointed in the right direction. Because I think Damon Hill made a very interesting point at the weekend. He made an observation about Valtteri along the lines of... Um, he has a, a very deep, quiet pride and conviction, and he himself feels that this is his biggest chance, which it obviously is, and therefore will do everything he can to deliver on the opportunities that he has been given. And I think that's a really astute observation. I mean, I'd expect no less from Damon, who's a very, very smart bloke, as we all know. Unless, unless, of course, Vettel keeps doing what he's done. I mean, we're almost at the midpoint of the season now, aren't we? What is that? There's a 20-point gap. So, obviously, it's totally recoverable. But there's no sign of weakness with that Ferrari, or the Ferrari team, to be fair. Um, and if they do push even harder and coalesce even more explicitly around Vettel, then a one-man championship charge is arguably the, 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 the thing that is going to have to be done to win this title. And that, I think, is going to present difficult questions for Mercedes because they're never going to... Unless it's a Schumacher breaks his leg scenario and you have to get behind your Eddie Irvin, there's no way that Mercedes will get behind Bottas in that way with Hamilton fully fit and functioning. So at some point, I think they're going to have to ask Valtteri to support Lewis. To if, if they want to win a driver's title.